Unsorted happens in another world in which all of the characters represent pieces of clothing. So we have a character named Jacket and Skirt and Slacks, Stovepipe, Bathing Suit. Uh, in their world, they are very happy, they're very playful characters, but one day it comes down from the jacket that they have to sort themselves into two distinct piles. And they're ordered that in order to stay, they have to be sorted, otherwise they will be banished. In the process of sorting, they discover that the only way that they can truly sort themselves is to either remove part of who they are or hide part of who they are. So the larger message of the play is, of course, being who you are involves accepting not only all of your traits and abilities inside and out, but all of those of others as well, and that we really should never put people in the position of having to be distinctly sorted, nor feel that we have to be distinctly sorted. Uh, the dialogue in the play is descriptive adjectives, and uh, it's not realistic dialogue in any way. So it requires actors who are very physical and free with their bodies and expressive. So during the audition tonight, that was one of the things that I was really looking for, were actors who seemed very uninhibited. So that when it came to the rehearsal process, we were already perhaps halfway there. And uh, they all had a certain amount of freedom in making big choices so that we wouldn't have to push them very far to get there. So that's what we were looking for tonight. And I think I found uh, several people that are going to make my decision a little bit trickier than I initially thought it would be, uh, which is a nice problem to have. Lights. Oh. <sighs> Hot. <laughs> Exposing. <laughs> Okay. It's also important for us to know that art should be a valuable part of everybody's life. It's not something that you have to grow into. Uh, the whole idea of there being theater as something that you get to do when you're older seems ridiculous to me. Uh, we get to listen to music when we're young, we get to dance when we're young, we pretend all the time. So having art forms that also express music, dance, and pretend are important for young people and I respect them very much as an audience. I find the stories are a lot more challenging than a lot of adult theater because they're done much more symbolically. And uh, also with young audiences, the plays are usually fairly hopeful, which I think is important nowadays to have stories that have hope.